Hey guys, while well, you wanted a demonstration video of how to do the thing that I was doing with the camera and stuff, so here it is. Um, the first thing you're going to want to do is go to Google and look up uh, Snap Camera for download. And you want to make sure it's the one that's Snap Camera that's at uh, snapchat.com and you're going to click there. From there, you're going to come up with this page so you know you're in the right place. You see the symbol right there? You're good to go. Just simply click on your download. And then from download, it'll go through and it'll ask if you want to do PC or if you want to do Mac. So then you can click on PC or whatever after you actually uh, click on to the privacy agreements. It's optional if you want to throw that in there, but I am not a robot, so I'm going to click there. And then you can download for your PC. Figure out where you're going to put it. And then after you have it downloaded, you can run that program. And once you run that program, you are actually going to have access to this right here on the bottom left side of the screen. You're going to end up uh, setting up a shortcut or whatnot, and then you can just open up that program, and you're going to end up right where we're at right here where you can see me. From here, you can select anything you want, just starting out. You want to be a potato? You're a potato. Or you can search for different lenses here and there. And using the search, you can put in any keyword you want. And it'll bring up various ones that might match with that. And you can switch that. So, yeah, I'm a kitty. Um, I did manage to find one that removes the filter so I could actually look normal. I have all my favorites start here. And you can simply select your favorites when you find one you like by clicking on the star here in the corner of an icon. All righty. Now, a few setting things that you need to deal with is you're going to want to click there up in the right hand corner on that little wheel and you're going to want to select what camera you want this to affect. It sets up a virtual camera for you. So I have mine set to the front camera because this computer does have a rear camera. And I didn't really mess with anything else that's on here. So, I mean, it runs it right away when I start up the machine. So when my computer starts up, this thing starts up. And then what you're going to need to do once you get into your different uh, types of meetings and things like that on Zoom, you're going to have this little pop up here where you can actually stop your video or mute your mic and stuff. But there's going to be a little arrow, I mean arrow there, and you're going to select snap camera. You can choose the other ones. Um, I did notice there is a little bit of a glitch in there to where it sometimes doesn't show up the way it should when you want to switch out of these or whatnot. The rear camera works fine, but sometimes the regular front camera will lock up. But uh, if you ever end up with any problems with that or your graphics ain't showing, which I've had happen in the past, you can actually just go ahead and restart your computer, start over, and it all works fine. So that's pretty much it. If you have any more questions for me or something, just let me know. Later.